son of a bitch. Ah, hello. Seems like you've been caught me looking at these stupid things my entire life. But I seem to have gotten a message earlier, and it says for me to review the Cinderella movie. Okay. First, some backstory. For those who don't know, Cinema Row is a character that is very popular in the Sanrio community, as he has gotten number one for most popular character ranking and many times. And he is a lot of people's favorite Sanrio character, including me. He can also fly with his big ears, and despite what many people think, he is a puppy, not a bunny. Let that be known, okay? Anyway, in 2007, a few years after his first appearance, we got a whole 43 minute movie of him, and seeming as I have never watched this movie before, and I am a pretty big fan of Cinema Roll, I don't know why I've neglected it for so long. Now don't get me wrong, I've heard about this movie before, but I just never took time in my life to watch it. But now things have changed, and now I'm finally deciding to watch this movie because god damn it, I have nothing to do today! God! Alright, alright, enough yelling. Let's watch this movie. The story is simple. The movie starts with Cinderella being born from a cloud, and as the song starts playing, he starts bouncing on clouds, and is just having a good time. Eventually, he makes a jump so high that he falls through the clouds and starts falling from the sky. Eventually, a girl named Miss Anna is on their way to their home, Cafe Cinnamon. And as Cinderella is falling, a random thing named Chowder, which by the way, never shows up in any, any materials after this, spots Cinderella falling from the sky and is suspicious about him. Cinderella then lands in Miss Anna's basket thing and wonders just what just happened. He then gets up and Miss Anna decides to take him to her home. Chowder decides to make his way down a hill so anything doesn't happen to her. She then arrives at his house and is greeted by her friends, who surprisingly look like Cinderella himself. And it shows everyone what she just found, and then they try to come up and find out who he is by asking with questions and which she came it from. And which she answers, up there. Understandably confused, they keep asking him more stuff. And then they just ask what his name is, and he has no clue. Since, you know, he was just born. Anna then takes him out of the box, and everyone decides on naming him Cinnamon Roll because his tail looks like a cinnamon roll, which is kind of funny. They also introduce themselves and get to know each other. Espresso, uh, Espresso, Espresso, I don't know. Espresso likes drawing and art. Mocha, who likes fashion. Chiffon, who likes tennis and sports. Cappuccino, who likes food and milk, even though I don't really know much of his personality. He then agrees to his name and to celebrate meeting their new friend. They make cinnamon rolls, of course. Meanwhile, Chowder isn't liking this guy one bit, as he thinks Cinderella is some sort of evil thing, and to prevent anything to happen to them, he casts spells on Cinderella to make them realize that he is not any good. First, he makes them all spill milk, but Espresso saves it. Then he makes the rolls and move, and then, and then try to cover Cinderella because, wow, well, suffocating is something that gives someone that, but because of his ears, he proceeded to juggle it. Finally, having enough, Chowder could then cast one last spell, and then forms a giant monster out of the rolls and wanted it to go for Cinnamon Roll, but instead went for Miss Anna and kidnaps her. Shatter then gets in the cafe and tries to cast spells to get it to stop, but it's too late. Everyone wakes up and Mocha gets mad at Chowder for getting him into this mess. Trying to explain the reason why, Milk noses a giant tree and starts chasing all of them. How is this, Wizard of Oz? They all get eaten by the thing, and Chowder gets them out with a spell and transports them to a candy land where Miss Anna is held. We get revealed that this giant monster is actually a different version of Chowder that wants to marry her, and as such, she can't get out of the castle and gets pushed back if she tries. What the hell is this? Mario 64? Eventually, the gang hears her cries and make their way there, but not before getting chased by a giant tea kettle. WHAT THE HELL IS THIS MOVIE?! They come face first into an oven, and this seems like it's the end for everyone, and once again, Mocha proceeds to get mad at Chowder again, and he still can't explain himself. And also, once again, Expresso saves everyone by saying, done. This is the only thing enough to shoot them out of the oven. They make their way to the castle, where they find out that the evil version of Chowder is trying to marry Miss Anna, and the regular Chowder has no clue who this other one is, and gets played by Mocha once again. I'm starting to think that Mocha really hates him. 
He then proceeds to fake say the fake one is not real, which is enough to make it melt and turn back into the giant monster again. Chowder uses a spell to make it go somewhere else, and the gang goes upstairs to f to find out that it's in that they put Miss Inna in a cage. They try their best to attack by throwing pieces from the ground to attack it, and that makes it fall from the tower and traps them. However, Cappuccino saves them by chopping the tower it was standing on. But Miss Anna is about to meet her and barely hanging on, and as she's falling, Cinderella decides to be brave and go for her. The gang tells her not to do it, but it's too late. He goes for her and grabs her and learns how to fly by using his ears. He tries to carry her up, but doesn't seem to have enough energy to do so. And then the monster comes back and is about to grab him when his family, the clouds and the sun, I'm not even joking, save him and give him more energy for him to fly back up and save her. All while the monster will start is melting in while the song that we heard at the beginning of the movie is playing in the background. And it honestly is kind of emotional. We then go back to the kitchen cafe where it started and to celebrate saving the day, they make cinema rolls right this time. Chatter says he should be going home now and explains why he did all that. But just as he is about to head out, Cinema Roll stops him and says he can stay here and help them. And he's their friend, which makes them super emotional. They all have a good time and make one make the one thing they've been meaning to do the entire time. Roll credits. Overall, Cinema Roll the movie is a short movie, but a damn good one at that. And definitely worth the watch if you haven't already. And for people who want to watch this, it's on YouTube with English captions for free, and I cannot recommend this movie enough. Though, I do wish we got more scenes in the forest and clouds. I would love to see more of that. I highly doubt Sanrio would ever revisit this movie again, but it would be cool if we got a remake of it in English, live action, or CGI animation. And the animation in this movie is super lively, fun, all of the characters are likable, and I think it's fair to say that Sanrio struck gold with this one. Also, the song that plays in the credits is a damn bop, and is really fun to listen to. Also, another thing I like about Cinema Roll's design in the movie, it's a bit different, don't get me wrong, but I still like the current design we've always had, but I just prefer it. It's like the Mari movie for me, as I prefer the movie designs for everyone here. They're more expressive than usual, and I like it. Sam Rio, if you ever make another movie like this one, where it's the currently in development live-action one, if that's even a real thing, or CGI movie, I just hope it's a good idea an animation and music as Cinderella the movie. Well, not on to reviewing that movie. I wonder what it's gonna tell me to do next. Oh great. 1K announcement video in a couple days. Ah, hello. Since you seems like you've <laughs> First line did I mess it up, bro? Overall, Cinema Roll the movie is a fantastic, and, and while it's a short movie at that, it is a damn good one. Well... <sighs> Overall, Cinema Roll the movie is a short movie, but a damn good one at that.